Hey guys, how's it going? Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to replace the pickup coil on a 94 Chevy C1500 pickup truck. This process should be the same on Chevy or GMC 5.7 or 5.0 TBI engines as well as a 4.3 V6 from 1988 to 1998. These engines came in the GMT 400 platform vehicles as well as many others. Unfortunately, when I started recording, I had already removed the distributor so I don't have footage for that. It's really easy and straightforward to remove it, I'll try my best to explain with pictures. I won't be going over diagnosing either, but I will provide a link in the description of an article that covers the process in detail. Long story short, after testing the leads of the pickup coil, I was no longer getting a signal going to the ignition control module, causing a no spark condition. The first step is to remove your distributor. Start by disconnecting the spark plug wires from the distributor cap, then remove the two screws holding the distributor cap. There are two connectors plugged into the ignition control module. Lift the locking tab on each connector and remove them. Lift the tab on the connector going to the back of the ignition control module coming from the pickup coil. This does require removing the distributor which means you will have to set ignition timing after reinstalling it. It is important to put the distributor exactly where it was before removing it. I personally like to take a long screwdriver, set it on top of the rotor on the distributor and use it to mark where on the engine the rotor is approximately pointing to. This will give you a reference point on where to point the rotor when it is time to reinstall. You can also mark the engine close to the base of the distributor with a line so you know where your timing was. If you you fail to check where the rotor was pointing to before removing it, you will have to set your number one cylinder at top dead center at the compression stroke and install the distributor with the rotor pointing to the number one cylinder. There is more to that, but I will not be going over it. There is a hold down clamp holding the distributor in place. Remove the bolt holding the clamp. The distributor is now free. Lift the distributor straight up and remove it. There is a seal that sits in between your distributor and the mounting surface on the intake manifold. It may be stuck to the mounting surface or it may be loose. Keep this in mind so it doesn't fall inside the hole for the distributor. Take the distributor to a workbench as there are a few small pieces that you don't want to lose. Start by removing the roll pin at the bottom of the distributor going through the gear. Use a punch and a hammer to get the roll pin to slide out. There will be two washers in between the gear and the housing that will fall out when the gear is removed. Take note of their position. Slide the gear off the shaft and remove both washers. One of my washers was stuck to the gear. Slide the shaft out towards the top of the distributor. Remove the locking ring holding down the copper cap. The distributor on my truck is an aftermarket unit and it used a snap ring instead of a locking ring. Slide the copper cap off. Remove the old pickup coil and install the new one in the same orientation as the old one. Put the copper cap back on and install a new locking ring. Your replacement pickup coil may have come with two different locking rings. Use the same style as the one that was removed. The replacement pickup coil I purchased only came with a locking ring, so I reused the old snap ring. Slide the shaft back on from the top, reinstall the two washers, and slide the gear back on the end of the shaft. Hammer the roll pin back on. It is now time to reinstall the distributor back on the truck. Line up the rotor in the same position that it was before removal. Allow the distributor to fall back in place. If the distributor rotor lines up to where you previously marked it, but it won't sit all the way down, crank the engine just a bit and it should fall right into place. Place. Connect the pickup coil connector to the back of the ignition control module. Connect both of the connectors going to the ignition control module. Reinstall the clamp and bolt, leaving the bolt loose enough to be able to move the distributor to set ignition timing. Reinstall the cap and the two screws holding the cap. Reinstall the spark plug wires. The truck should fire right back up if timing is close enough. It is now time to set ignition timing. I won't be covering that either, but I'll provide a link in the description if you need help with that. That's it for the pickup coil installation. It's fairly easy to replace, it's just in an inconvenient spot. There are some very cheap pickup coil replacements at the parts store, but I would stay away from them as you may not want to go through the hassle of doing this job twice or end up getting stranded. Thank you for watching. I'll be Ella swapping this truck and I'm working on restoring a first-hand Camaro. Make sure to subscribe if you guys are interested. Peace.